right, we're at Mountaintop Campground in Tarentum, Pennsylvania. Now, the first thing I will say about this campground is it is on the top of a mountain type area through the winding roads and ridges of Western Pennsylvania. Yes, uh, we're about 15 miles from a the nearest Aldi, which that's where we buy our groceries or grocery stores in general, about 15 minutes, not miles. Um, it does have Wi-Fi. Um, it, it's close to Pittsburgh. We're about oh, 16 miles from the city of Pittsburgh, so that's a plus. It ran us $45 a night plus $3, so it's $48 a night. I'm going to go in and film the rest of this, and I'll give you a glimpse around behind me. It's basically... I'll explain inside. The wind's get picking up here. Actually, maybe this is better. Okay, so behind me, there's like a loop around the whole campground, and that's where camping is. I'm in the center in a pull-through site, so um, basically I'm next to a couple of cabins. Um, the views out there I'll show you in the video are pretty amazing. The trip in, um, the campground does email you instructions on how to get here, and there are some very low clearance bridges that way. So don't just follow the yellow mountaintop campground signs and don't veer off. We use a trucker's GPS that kind of scared us, uh, but we still made it up here. So don't give up. Don't get scared. Follow the signs and follow their instructions. We took the toll road because it was safer. You're in mountains, so you have a big rig, use some common sense there. So I'm gonna give you a little walk around that me and Coco did earlier, and I will see you at the end. Like I said, the views are around the loop. We don't have a view. Uh, we basically came here for two things, which you've already seen, the Andy Warhol Childhood Home, the Andy Warhol Gravesite, and of course, Evans City for the uh, Night of Living Dead Cemetery. Those are the two big highlights for me personally. There's all kinds of things to see, like the city of Pittsburgh. Um, I recommend this campground if you don't need the bells and whistles, if you don't need a park, if you don't need, um, you know, a big bathhouse if you don't need constant entertainment for the goblins or the kids this is the park for you we're full timers we're self-sufficient we don't need all the bells and whistles anymore that's for others that are experimenting with camp life and that's not really our forte so there you have it um, thanks for subscribing below thanks for hitting that alert button also and i definitely will see you on the other side of pennsylvania when we start our work camping group our work camping uh, outfit we will see you soon i'm going to get back to writing and video editing and entertaining all of you